Seaborg Technologies is on its way to deploy multiple compact molten salt reactors on power barges. When the operation is finished, a proper spent fuel management system is not only crucial, but also a necessary step in lightening up the world. Here are our answers to your challenge. A multi-purpose container is used as a drain tank, transport container, as well as final storage container to save up costs. The container is made out of hastaloid, a neutron absorber based on concrete called NHC1, thick layer of steels and copper, to comply to the IEA standards and regulation. After operation and five years of cooling down, the spent fuel container is transported via a truck to a central processing facility to be reprocessed. During the trip, the spent fuel will be maintained over 200 degrees Celsius to prevent the radiolysis problem and below the melting point temperature to provide mechanical stability. In the processing facility, the spent fuel will undergo three processes, electrolytic separation, melt crystallization, and dehalogenation and vitrification. Note that this reprocessing is much easier done with molten salt than with conventional solid spent fuel. The first step is the electrolytic separation technique, developed by the ANL, which allows the collection of actinides at the cathode under the applied electrochemical potential. This extracts uranium and transuranic material, which can be later reused in a reactor and separate fission product that will go to the final depository. The process cuts down the storage time from tens of thousands of years to roughly 300 years. The rest will be processed through melt crystallization to reduce the volume by extracting clean carrier salt which can later be repurposed for the next generation of CMSR. The hallucination allows the removal of fluorine species prior to waste immobilization. Vitrification is at the end employed by mixing in glass. The final solidified waste form is put in the same multi-purpose container and stored in the final repository. At the end, 300 years is a worthy trade-off for a brighter world and a step to stabilize the climate.